for my first flight to this container PGD Kyoto small maximum weight. Air Turquoise does certifications for uh, for several manufacturers. Our job is uh, to test the gliders uh, in different configurations uh, and see if they fulfill the requirements uh, of ENC rules. And uh, we have a nice place here for that because it's a nice uh, altitude and uh, not so much wind, that means uh, we can frame the standard quite well. We are working with uh, Seiko, Philippe, Claude, uh, Anselm, uh, Alex and me. And now uh, Nicole, I ask her to come because it's always a problem with the minimum weight. And uh, for sure she has a lot to, to learn. Yeah, it's a great job. It's always really challenging because uh, there is something to learn every flight, so it's never boring. We are working on 23 tests, actually. Takeoff, landing, control movement, speed, small front collapse, big front collapse, full speed front collapse, small side collapse, big side collapse, high angle of attack recovery, beeline stall test, uh, develop spin, uh, trim speed, low spin, beast, big gears. Everything should be considering. But for sure, it's uh, more and more demanding to test these gliders. Now we are in education from a few pilots and it's more and more demanding because it's getting more and more technical because the glider is more and more solid. Every wings will have the same maneuver. We just uh, need a different movement to find the right maneuver, right uh, collapse, how deep it is. Depends the wings, tandem, uh, competition wings or school will be big difference for how to collapse. But at the end, we will have the same proportion of the wings. And like that, uh, every wings will have uh, the same test. The purpose is to classify the gliders in different categories. So you have A, B, C, D and CCC class. And uh, for each class, uh, you need the different skills to fly these gliders. So basically the A class is the school glider and the CCC class is the competition class. This is a port and after uh, we have the load test. The load test is uh, divided in three parts. The first part is a theoretical port, it's a calculation, line calculation. And after we have the physical shock and load test with the same glider. We apply the shock test of normally it's a thousand kilos on the glider. And after we load the glider at eight times the maximum weight is still given by the manufacturer. We are doing also rescue, uh, flying from Soncho for the testing rescue on the lake and the helic helicopter drop for the swing test of the rescue. Yes, and uh, the cure too, I guess it was when uh, glider it was quite uh, flying fast and uh, I guess we, we were quite uh, close to 50, uh, 60, 60 a little bit more, but uh, you know it's difficult. I don't, I don't like to speak about uh, the maximum speed because this is always depending about the instrument. What speed I am? 54. It was fast enough, I think. Uh, uh, we test more the stability, in high speed. Level, full speed and click. Yes, very good. After we make uh, the, the maneuver, we check how the wings is able to continue to fly without any action. But uh, no, I was quite impressive, but um, quite clear it was. It was fitting well in a range in the C category. It was quite easy to find the right maneuver. Every maneuver was uh, easy to reproduce. It's very important for us. And uh, also every maneuver was very good for the, the safety for C-Class for sure, but uh, uh, it was a good surprise.
Okay. Very good. I go. Directional control. 